Hi guys, I'm Nick from ECD Automotive Design, and today we're gonna walk through our teardown process. Behind me, I have a few of our base vehicles that we would use. These are sourced from the UK, uh, some from America. Any of our vehicles sourced from the UK go through a full US customs inspection before they're released to us. Uh, and then we take them to the DMV and get them registered here in the States. It's a long process. It's not the easiest process, but it's the right way to do it. So that's what we do for every vehicle. Uh, once we get here, we start our strip down process. We remove all the body panels, all the interior, uh, separate the frame from the axles and uh, continue our restoration and repair procedure. Here you'll see our teardown technician working on one of our base vehicles, beginning the strip down process. We'll start on the doors, roof, and work our way down from the top. After we get the vehicle stripped, we'll separate the chassis from the axles. And as you can see, they look kind of rough when they come off. After the chassis has been removed from the vehicle and the axles, we send it out to be sandblasted and then bring it back and do a full chassis repair. After the chassis has been repaired, we send it back out and have it hot galvanized dip. It gives us a nice sealed coating and helps prevent future rust problems. After the chassis is galvanized dip, we bring it back and do a final coating of Raptor liner to give it a nice visual finish and an extra protection layer. As our teardown process continues, our techs determine what pieces we can reuse and refurbish. As part of our world-class customer experience, we also like to add a little memento off the base vehicle. So we'll save one of the original hinges off the base vehicle with the original paint and rust included and send each client a piece of their original vehicle. After the chassis has been refurbished, axles and suspension have been sandblasted and powder coated. A rolling chassis is built with all new suspension, bushings and axles. And we then continue down the production line, adding our powertrain, electrical and body assembly. Thanks for joining me today as we took a look into our teardown process. See you next time.